Hello traders, this is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I'm so glad you could be here with me. Guys, before you, you have the Euro USD on the five minute time frame and the Euro USD on the one minute time frame. I'm actually using a different strategy this evening and I wanted to share it with you just to remind you that there are always ways to make money in the market. There are so many ways to be profitable in Forex, but the main thing is that you cut bad trades quickly. I cannot stress that enough. Um, you can see here where we had this level of resistance. We came back, we tested it again. I actually shorted it on this candle, got stopped out on this one, and I got back in on the short. Now, the short here was actually before we crossed back across that 50 SMA. So we're gonna ride this trade out once this candle closes. Um, we're going to look for an opportunity to move our stop losses and ride this trade for a while. And I just want to add this quickly to remind you that the market usually, economic reports are different and there is nothing absolute in the market, but a lot of times the market will give you hints about what it's about to do. So this trade will, may be a profitable trade, it may not. I may end up getting stopped out. But the thing about trailing your stop loss is once I got stopped out on this candle, it cost me about two and a half pips. So, so far, I'm more in profit than I was at a loss. So, we'll see. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to move our stop loss. It was initially above the entry, and I have not moved it now we are if we close there we may lose about one or two pips but guys there's always a way to be profitable in the market always okay guys we are going to move our stop loss now this way we'll be sure to lock in at least a little bit of profit so if we close above this red line then we are out of this trade Okay, guys, we are about to close out of this. I was hoping for a good pullback or a pretty decent pullback before getting out of this, but the market may not give it to me. But at any rate, you can see how it was that I was moving my stop loss. Once we got a close above that, then um, uh, that, I'm sorry, I'm losing my chain of thought because I'm losing some pips here. But you can see that this is where we put the sell. We put the sell in on this candle and you can see that we're still in profit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this out. And um, that's it for the video tonight. Thank you so much for... Mm, I'm still kind of playing around with this, hoping for a better high. Okay, so that's it for that trade tonight, guys. But I just wanted to let you know that there are many ways to make profit in the market. Market, in the the market. We have um, a triple top almost going on here on the one minute time frame. We got some pips out of it. Not too bad there, but um, try to. And I could have gotten out, and it was actually it bleh, actually ended up being about the same. The place that we broke above the stop loss, which was here, and you can see how we're falling back down now. But um, it actually ended up being almost the same place on the hmm. Now, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my chain of thought because I'm watching the market. But if this closes in a bearish candle, then I'm going to reshort this and perhaps I won't end the video. But we'll wait and we'll see. Now, while we're waiting, I just want to remind you that you should enter the market when your rules say to enter. But you should also cut when your rules say to cut. And my rules said to cut. I didn't get as many pips as I would have liked. However, I still closed in profit. And this is the thing, guys. 
follow your rules be consistent with following your rules because at some point in time you run into that sweet mother load trade that we all wait for so be consistent follow your rules save your capital maximize your capital so that when you get the chance to ride the mother load then that yeah then it works out well for you watching price and can't pay attention to the video now I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that there are many ways to make mark money in the market I just want to say when you have a market that's kind of like this then it's a good idea to trade a lot of times off of your candlestick signals but you've seen my favorite trading method this is just one that I'm kind of feeling out tonight but I'm still looking for that trading advantage so every advantage that I see I'm going to attempt to trade it it may end up being a choppy market it may not I may end up at break even but guys there are so many ways to make money in this market alright guys let's short this market again and see what's what and basically this is just swing trading at this point if we close back above this candle then we are out of this market okay guys that is the thing about choosing a trade off of something else other than your moving averages I just wanted to show you that there are many ways to make money in the market and remember here we um, we were going to stop out if we got a close above that which we never did price created a continuation pattern on the five minute time frame and so far we are right about oh, we're in a little bit of profit probably right about break even if we get any kind of bullish candle it's Sunday night then I'm out of this market so that will be the end of the video alright guys let's go ahead and close out we got a few more pips the purpose of this trading tonight was just to show you that there are so many ways to make money in the market I, we actually use two different techniques we traded off of a triple top um, with the trailing I'm sorry my mind is somewhere else uh, with the trailing stop loss also we did reversals solely based off of the candles guys you can absolutely do this you can be successful at Forex have a terrific trading week also I'm thinking if this close is bearish that may be another um, great signal to enter but at any rate guys just wanted to show you you can be successful at Forex and also I do want to say if you trade off of um, trade new methods that you're not sure of and you see that I added a support level when we were um, nah. when we were waiting to see what the market was going to do but if you trade in a range bound market or in a market that you're unsure of or if you trade a new technique then I just want to remind you to decrease the amount of lots that you're trading simply because the strategy is new for you once you get a strategy perfected then you can go ahead and um, sorry my mind is like all cloudy I've been up like all night well nearly all night but been up for a long time but at any rate guys just want to remind you that you can absolutely do this you can be successful at Forex have a terrific trading week